The update that pretty much changes Path of Titans for good is now here. The change to Unreal Engine 5 is now officially on the public servers for the game. And I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know about this brand new update and what's coming with it. And if you are new, feel free to subscribe. Timestamps for everything are on the screen now for you to go to the favourite parts that you want to check out. But yeah, feel free to subscribe if you are new. But other than that, let's get right into the video. It's here, yes, Unreal Engine 5, the brand new game-changing update because we're literally moving to a brand new game engine from Unreal Engine 4 now to Unreal Engine 5. We now have that update, so technically, you mobile players will be able to touch grass because it's now in the game. So, uh, yeah, enjoy that because now you don't need to go outside ever again. This is a natural upgrade that would have happened in the game's lifespan. However, it's best that the developers got this out of the way early as possible because if they'd done it later it'd mean it'd take longer which delays more content for longer I think it took three months here now if it was later down the line they'd have to do a lot more and it could probably take a year to update to unreal engine 5 if they had done it in the future when the game was more complete so this is a good thing now before i do go into this i do want to say all mods need to be updated to Unreal Engine 5 and all mod developers need to be given the newest dev kit so they can do that. So this means mods won't be working at the moment and modded servers will not be working at the moment either. So why did they update the game now? They essentially say that it's updating now to avoid problems if this happens later. Like I said earlier, it means that they can do it quicker now rather than do it in the future and there'll be big problems that arise. However, moving from Unreal Engine 5 to Unreal Engine 4 is a natural progression for a game the IO will probably do this in the future as well so do bear that in mind one thing that is different is well mobile graphics have benefited greatly in fact a lot of games have benefited greatly from this graphically as well water looks a lot crisper mobile can see grass and overall it just looks way prettier than how it looked before which is really neat and I'm quite happy with that the developers also plan to make the game more stable in the new engine before upgrading and adding more features they want to add chaos physics engine to reduce server lag which means that people who are playing on lower servers or cheaper servers will probably have an easier time and won't need to upgrade too much after that and all optimizations are done ai is much closer to release this update was something that the devs wanted to do before ai came out and so it's important that they made this update now so for pc players you will need to update a couple drivers in order to update smoothly onto this version of the game and for it to perform better and run smoothly so if you are on windows 10 you'll need windows 10 version 1909 or higher as you need to have support fine as you need to have support for direct x12 agility sdk for people who have an nvidia gpu you'll need driver 466.11 or higher people who have an amd gpu will need a radeon software adrenaline 21.4.1 or newer and the people who have intel you just need your latest GPU drivers. But now let's get into the other stuff. This one is a quick one I'm going to be going through because Spinosaurus has a brand new skin. This is the ever so beautiful Bug Tracker Spino skin, which goes alongside the Allosaurus Bug Tracker skin, which is in the game as well. Now, I will say this is a lot prettier than the Allosaurus skin, and it looks really nice. It's got some really neat color versions with it and color choices, and I like that a lot. So, you can get this skin yourself. The only way to do this is by reporting bugs, and now this is the perfect time to be reporting bugs. There are a lot of bugs when they move to Unreal Engine 5, so this is definitely your time to get the Allosaurus Bug Tracker skin and the Spinosaurus Bug Tracker skin because then you can go ahead and unlock this brand new cool skin. Now, I will have had the skin on the screen while I've talked about it so you guys can see it, and I do hope you think it's pretty neat. And now we have the changes to the game. This is the final section that I'm going to be talking about. Now, there will be in some sections here, there is a lot more than what I'll be talking about. So I'll just have them all on the screen for you to have a look at and pause if you deem necessary. For mobile quality of life changes, mobile users can now pinch to change their zoom like how you can with scroll wheel on PC. Now, I'm pretty sure this might work with spectator mode as well, where you could use scroll wheel to go faster. Maybe pinch can make you go faster in spectator mode too. They have also 
remove the map button on mobile heads up display you can now tap the mini map to open the map and the sleep button is now hidden while you are running to prevent accidental taps of it which will then accidentally enable it when you are running Overall, hit detection has been improved for a vast amount of attacks, which will help with hit registration and attacks in general. Now we go into the major changes. As I've said, I'm going to be talking about my favourite ones, but everything else will be on the screen now while I talk about them. There's quite a few. There is more than what they actually list, and I don't know what's there, what else is new, so we'd have to stick with probably... I don't know where you find out all the other new stuff, but yeah, there is quite a few. So, DirectX 12 is now default on Windows devices. Pandora is back to its full size. They have added TSR, which is a new anti-aliasing method in UE5. Memory optimization to reduce mobile crashes. Changed for all semi-aquatics and stamina regen. Swimming at the surface means regen stamina. Fast swimming at the surface means you lose stamina. Diving underwater means you regen stamina. Fast diving underwater means you lose stamina. You can now remove friends from your friend list. Fixed animation snapping for Spino, Kentro and Anodontosaurus. And there's a whole bunch more. Let me know what you think about this update. This is definitely the start of big things in my eyes for the game. Because now the devs can start pumping out new content. Now they've got this done. They can apply fixes that they want to apply. And then boom. New content will be coming a lot faster now, which is great. Anyways, guys, that was everything. Let me know how I've done. I do apologize if I was a little bit rusty with the voiceover. I haven't recorded a video in over a week. I think it's been two weeks now since I recorded a video. I know it doesn't look like I haven't because I've still been uploading videos. But yeah, it's been funny. It's been a funny week. But anyways, guys, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Now, I will say videos might and streams might be affected for the next coming months. That's mainly because I'm finishing my uni degree this year in the last two months from this video. So I finish in May. So yeah, everything will be affected, whether that's me on YouTube or in general. And uh, yeah, I do want to let you know that just in case videos get missed and stuff like that. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you all in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.